Hey everyone, today we are going to learn how to import bank account in Vitri transaction. So first of all, we need to set a bank account which we are going to import. So for that, we'll come in setup menu. Here you can see account and bank. Here you can also create multiple accounts. Similarly, I can modify particular accounts. Okay. So this is current account and you can see the properties. I have already set it. And here I mark this account as my default bank account. So at the time of importing the bank account, it will be reflect directly in this bank account. Okay. And this is the CH CSV file which I am going to import. Okay. So let me show you the supplier and customer. This is supplier. This is customer. Now in transaction menu, you can see option of universal input sheet. Fine. So I'll get this kind of layouts here. You can import from CSV text file or clipboard. Okay. So if I click here on CSV, I'll get the file. Okay. So here you have to select bank statement option. Now I have to do map according to the columns. So if my column has that, then I have to select here date. Okay. As you can see, and uh, unnecessary means uh, there is column which I do not require. I can click here on not imported. Okay. So it will be not going to import. So this is that. Second column is details. Similarly, my debit side is for payments and credit side is for receipts. Okay. And I do not require balance column. So uh, ultimately, I'm going to import debt, details, debit, and credit. Okay. And here I'm not able to import the same column name. Means if there are two columns which consist uh, details, so I'm not uh, going to, I'm not able to uh, import both column. Okay. I have to select only one column. So, if you click here, you can change the particular primary account. So, whatever we are going to import, it will be reflected in that account only. Okay, so as you can see, primary account details, totals. The letter in blue shows credit side and in red shows re uh, debit side. Fine. So I have to analysis all the accounts. Okay. And after the analysis, I'm able to post these transactions. So for analysis, I click here and my first entry is capital introduction. Okay. So in creditors ledger, I can see directors account. Similarly, supply 001 purchase. So I have to make I have to map the account accordingly. As you can see in supplier, I have 001. Similarly, joy rent. So this is rent expense. Okay. So in supplier, I have account of joy. Now mark, mark audit. So in supplier, this is mark. Okay. Now this is receipt, okay, customer 001, receipts from customer 001. So I'll select the particular customer. Similarly, this is receipt from customer 002. So I'll map accordingly. Now this is bank charges. I haven't any supplier or customer here. So I can map it in expense, okay. Here you can see bank charges. And if you want to set up a new account, then you can set up here accordingly. Okay. Bank charges. So this is bank interest received. So uh, in income, interest receivable. Okay. This is petty cash. This is contract transaction. So in bank, I'll select the petty cash.
bank petty cash okay after analysis all the accounts i am able to post these transactions as you can see total nine transactions okay now you can see on display all the my transaction have been imported successfully i am also able to modify these transactions okay so in bank in current account if i see entries you can see all the transactions here similarly there is there was a one contract transaction as you can see here as you can see supplier account has been set off okay the remaining amount of joy is pending it's fine now we have to analysis supplier as well as customers account okay we have to set off all the accounts so as you can see in joy if i click joy's ledger then i can see liability side 150 and asset side 100 so i have to select both the account and i'll click match associate entries okay similarly in mark's case as you can see so i have to mutually associate both the transaction okay so you can see it will be removed from open entries i have already make videos on these topics earlier similarly we'll do the same in customers case also so we have to select each transaction and uh, each ledgers and we have to set off all the ledgers accordingly okay now you can see here display the bank account and reconcile bank report if i click here you can see all the bank accounts and in current uh, current year tab you can see the entries of current year okay similarly in the reconciliation tab you can see the transaction so we select all and we have to press this button to reconcile the transactions okay now i have to give the name of the statement as well as date of the statement Now you can see our bank statement has been reconciled properly if i come in current years tab you can see the allocation marks if i want to reverse the reconciliation process then i'll select the old transaction and click this button okay so it will again appear in reconciliation tab so let's reconcile it again okay so this is the procedure means how to import the bank after importing bank you have to uh, mutually associate the transactions and ultimately we have reconciled the transactions okay so this is for today thanks for watching can you like the video and subscribe the channel thank you